What's up everybody? So I want you to comment right this second if you work past five o'clock, if you work till six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I know agents that work all night long and then they get up and they work all day and they're completely burnt out. Okay, after about two or three weeks or a couple months, they are shot and they just, th their production is not even where they want it to be. So they're putting in all this effort and putting on all these hours, okay, and then their production is not even, you know, close to where they think it feels. And that's when you become really frustrated. So in one of my last videos, I did a couple videos ago um, about adding an extra 30 minutes into my day, which I'll link below. Um, I literally found 30 more minutes a day that I could squeeze in and, and, and compound that over time and it ends up being incredibly huge. But I wanted to do this video to kind of talk about the fact where I stop working at five o'clock every day. Okay, now I may work till 5.30 all the way up till six sometimes. Okay, very rarely, but most of the time right at 5.30, boom, I knock it off with the switch and if I do work till six, six o'clock is definitely the end of my day. And then I'm gonna shut it all off and I'm literally gonna walk into my living room and I'm gonna spend some time with my daughter. You know, she's learning to crawl right now. She's not quite there. She's doing that whole belly flop thing where she gets, you know, both hands, pushes herself up, flops down, you know, she kind of does this little worm motion. It's really hilarious. But um, she's getting there, she's getting there. I'm trying to teach her how to go, you know, one arm at a time, but hey, you know, <laughs> we all have to crawl before we can walk, before we can run, and that's exactly what I wanna talk about in today's video. Also, if you guys went back a couple videos ago, I talked about going back and watching my vlog, which we did 80 episodes about two years ago, two or three years ago. We did 80 episodes of a vlog where I had a guy following me around with a camera. Really incredible content. Showed what I do every day, day in and day out. Making my calls, having my meetings, showing properties. The whole nine yards. You guys need to go back and watch some of those episodes because it really gets into the grind, the hustle. But I wanna hear from you right now. Comment below if you want me to bring that back. If you want me to bring the Daily Grind show back to my YouTube channel, let me know. And as always, click the like button for the YouTube algorithm so that I can push my message across the 800 and something videos that I have to the rest of the world so that we can help more agents. Okay, let's get into the video. So I believe this is a very, very important subject. Whereas if you don't have a time where you're gonna shut your mind off from work and you continue thinking about work or even working past that time, you can easily get burnout and you can easily start neglecting the rest of your life. Okay, time with your family or whatever it is that you do that you want to do outside of work. Your, your life cannot be just about work. Okay, I get up in the mornings, you guys know my morning routine. I answer DMs for an hour and then I work out. I spend that time for myself as I'm lifting or doing cardio or whatever it is that I'm doing during my workout. I'm literally almost in a state of meditation where I am really thinking about my day. I am just enjoying the moment when my phone is not ringing, when I don't have anything to do except for basically hang out with myself, especially since the pandemic and I have a gym here in my house. Um, I'm just by myself, right? There's nobody around. When I used to go to the gym, you know, I had a lot of buddies there and we used to, you know, chat it up, you know, in between sets and stuff and that was great and everything, but now it's just me and I'm really able to dig into my thoughts and really focus and really visualize big picture stuff. You know, big five and 10 year goals. And that time really, I'm telling you guys right now, it really helps me visualize where I'm gonna be in five years, 10 years. Okay, from there, I'm gonna give it everything I have from about 7.30 till five to six o'clock. Okay, everything I have, every drop of energy is gonna go into my work. Okay, in my mind, if I can't get it done between 7.30 and 5.30, it's not gonna get done. There's no need in even trying anymore. Knock off, okay, recharge, spend time with your family, whatever it is that you do, so that you can give it 110% the next day. If you operate like this, 
right? It's kind of like slow and steady wins the race. Sure, there's some people out there that work till you know 10 o'clock and you probably get a little more done than me every day, but you're eventually gonna burn out, whereas I'm gonna continue on this path of operating at a very high level every day during the day, whereas you're gonna eventually burn out and start to slow down and you're not gonna be at 110%. You're gonna be at 70%, you're gonna be at 50%, you're gonna be at 30%. You know, whereas I'm working maybe less hours than you, but it's 110% every single day because I'm recharging in the evenings and therefore slow and steady wins the race. Over time, I will completely dominate you. And that's what I'm gonna do. What I would like for you to do is to dominate me. Okay, now I'm hoping that you take something in all the videos and all the content and all the podcasts, and I want you to take something and I want you to utilize it, right? Because I'm sharing with you exactly what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, so you know what I do, right? You know what a top producer does, okay? So, so you can take that and say, okay, if that's exactly what Ricky does, then I'm gonna tweak it like this because I know that this is more efficient than what Ricky does and I will eventually over time beat Ricky. That's my goal for you, you to beat me. Now, when I talk about knocking off at five o'clock, 5.30, six, whenever it is, somewhere in there, you have to knock off, okay, in my opinion. Okay, now when I was a new agent, yeah, I worked 14 hours a day. I worked till 11 o'clock at night. I was looking up numbers. I was copying and pasting addresses in whitepages.com, bigfoot.com, Spokio, all those websites because there was no Red X. Okay, there was no Red X. I could just click a mouse and find 2,000 property owners and the click of a mouse and click another mouse and dial them. Couldn't do that. If I could do that, then I wouldn't have worked till midnight. I would have literally clicked a mouse that morning, called my 100 dials within two hour period, and then, you know, had an entire <laughs> rest of the day ahead of me. Instead, I had to look up numbers all night and then dial them with my finger all day. Eight hours is what it took me to dial 100 numbers by hand. So yes, I worked long hours, but I was doing what you can do now with the click of a mouse, okay? So think about that for a second. So I'm pretty sure at this point in the video, you understand my philosophy about knocking off at five, recharging, operating at a high level every single day. But the biggest remarks I've been getting, the biggest comments, the, I've been getting DMs left and right, and they are, they're all revolving around, what do you do, Ricky, about showing property after five o'clock? Okay, clients that are working all day and they wanna see houses after five, okay, or on the weekends. Very, very simple answer, guys. If anybody wants to see a property or have a listing appointment 24 hours a day on the weekends, I am going to that appointment, okay? So this excludes showing property and going to listing appointments, okay? What it includes is emails, phone calls, text messages, you know, negotiations, so on and so forth. There's very, very, very few things that I'm actually going to attend to and react to after hours. There may be a few things, okay? And it's not like if, if you know, it's not like I won't check my email one more time before I go to sleep or make, you know, look at my, if somebody texts me, I'm gonna look at it. I might not respond, okay? That's the thing. I know what to respond to and I know what not to respond to because I've been doing this a long time and I understand the things that matter and the things that don't matter, the things that could be put off till the next day. Okay, so that, that's what we have to get really good at is, is recognizing what we can put off and what needs to be attended to right then. And the things that need to be attended to right then are almost zero, okay? However, if somebody wants to see a property or go have a listing appointment, I am gonna be there, okay? I'm gonna be there. Now, in my market, okay, people don't want to see properties after five o'clock, okay? Most of the time in my market, everything is during the day, so I don't have that specific problem. But I can understand in different markets how that would be an issue. Everybody wants to see properties after five o'clock, and if that was the case, I would be fine with that, okay? What I'm talking about is, is I'm leaving the office. Now, if I leave the office to go show property, fine. If I leave the office to go home and chill, fine but I'm not going to do office work. I'm not going to think about work. I'm gonna shut it off. If I'm showing property, I'm gonna go show the property. I'm not gonna be thinking about all the work stuff. I'm gonna show that property and I'm gonna go home and chill. Now, I'm gonna guess that this doesn't happen every single day, okay? Now, if it happens every single day, that's gonna be fine too. I'll get into a routine of how that works and how that operates and I'll figure out how to adjust 
and make it happen. However, if somebody wants to see properties or have a listing appointment, I'm gonna be there. <laughs> That's why we do this. Another thing I want you to do is I want you to control your business, not let it control you. Whereas, I don't want you to jump, even during working hours, I don't want you to jump every time somebody emails you or texts you something. There's nothing that can't wait. The only things that would interrupt your day is if somebody wants to see a property, write an offer, write a listing, or have a listing appointment. Those are the things right there that I would drop everything on a hat to go do. However, everything else, everything else can wait. Okay, so if you're in the middle of making phone calls, you can ignore all those little things until after you make the phone calls. If you're showing property, you can ignore all those things till after you get through showing property. What I want you to do is this, I wanna give you a quick challenge. Next time you get a text message that's not about showing a property, writing an offer, writing a listing, or going to a listing appointment, I want you to ignore it for two hours. No matter what you're doing, if you're ever not doing anything, I want you to ignore it for two hours. And I should start practicing this. I want you to start practicing putting things off a little bit, okay, to prove to yourself that you can control your business and not let it control you. When you start controlling your business, and you really develop this skill of not being a reactionary agent and controlling your business, you have so much power. Now you are dominating your own schedule, okay? You set your schedule. You're not letting your business control your schedule. You set your schedule. And when you set your schedule and you have the power of setting your schedule, then you can be a million times more productive, okay? When you can focus on the things that you know you need to do without any distractions, and then you can handle those little problems and things that come up in your business after the fact. So we talked about a lot of things in this video. Um, I know it was a, the, a lot for you and I hope that you got a lot out of it. Okay, five o'clock, between five and six, I want you to shut it down. If you gotta show property, go show the property. Help the people, that's what we're doing this for. Also, I want you to control your business and control your schedule, okay? You guys get out there and use this to, to, to tweak your business a little bit, to take it to the next level and live a better life. Because that's what this video is really about. Living a better life, enjoying your life. You know, we're working, working, working. We need to enjoy our life a little bit, okay? And that's what's gonna really mean something short and long term to you. And that's, that's what I hope for you. So leave me a comment, let me know what you think. We'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.